in every industry, there are bad apples. So do I think that there is a widespread problem in auto finance? No, but you know, are there folks that either aren't paying attention or they might have their head in the sand that they know that there's, you know, there's all this noise, if you will, there's all this commotion about compliance in auto finance, but they're not paying enough attention to it. Do I think that there's, you know, bad intent? No. But folks need to be paying a little bit, no, not a little bit, a lot more attention to uh, compliance issues in auto finance because the Bureau is very focused on um, the industry and all segments of credit, and in particular, auto finance. The game has changed a bit because not only do dealers have to do the right thing, but they have to be built to do the right thing. And what do I mean by that? That means they have to have the structure. They have to have the formality and the process to demonstrate that they are doing the right thing. And that really kind of comes down to compliance. It comes to having what the Bureau is expecting that all entities that are subject to its enforcement and subject to a supervision have in place. It's called a compliance management system. And that is kind of like a compliance program on steroids or a fancy word for a compliance program, but it's much more developed than just doing the right thing. It's having an infrastructure within the organization to make sure that you are complying with the law.